Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 59 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric fields. So we can see this is the follow-up problem for example 16. The 16 we have the uniform electric field at the end of the power plants, right? And then the electric charge is put at there. And it do the motion, and then finally it follows this way, move out. This is like projection mo motion. This is a projection motion we learned in chapter three, right? First, we write down the given quantities. The length of this plant is given L, and the electric field is given, and also the fundamental charge E is given, and the mass is given for the electrons. Now we can see, if we put the electrons at this electric field, there will be electric force acting on it. And this electric force is a charge times the E, right? We can see E is up. And the electron carry one negative charge, it will pointing down. Do you agree? So it looks like at the Y direction. There will be a negative force, just called negative charge, fundamental charge E times the electric field, field E. And at x direction, is there any net force? No, right? At x direction, acceleration is zero. So very easily, we can write at x direction. The distance it traveled is L. The, oh, sorry, the speed for x is a v naught, right? Sorry, v naught. And then, so we can write down the this equation. So the distance you traveled equals to the speed of the it, v, x direction v naught times the time t. So we get the time t taken as l over v naught. Then at a y component, we can see the net force is this one. We can write it as a negative e times the e. This is one negative fundamental charge times the electric field equals to the mass times acceleration Ay. Therefore, we can get acceleration Ay in this function, right? The next step, we need to find the velocity in y component. So we can say the initial velocity in y component is zero plus acceleration times the t. So we use this term times this term, we get the answer there. Next question, what angle will the electron leave deviate? So that means when you find this angle, use the theta is arctangent vy over vx, right? So you input all the given quantities, get the answer there. Thank you.